that's what they're trying to do. And I know that's what AEW is attempting to do with using Shaq, which is smart. Yeah. And they're doing that shit right when the NBA is about to restart back in, in, in a couple of weeks. Right. It's smart, but I don't think that that logic works anymore, man. Like, I like what they're doing. I think I like how AEW is trying to cover all their bases. So, like, okay, right. we're trying to get the casual fan. We're trying to get the hardcore fan. We're trying to get new fans. We're right. trying to we're trying to appease everybody. That's kind of cool. I don't know what WWE, what they're doing up in Connecticut. I have no idea what they're doing up in New York. No clue at all. Well, I'll, I'll say this, like, I don't think, I don't even think that it's, you know, people aren't watching because they know it's a work because I mean, everybody knew it was a work in the attitude era, right. but the, the, the fact of the matter is the attitude era was dope. Yeah. Like really yeah. dope. It was really interesting. The stuff that they was doing was crazy and people were just like, yo, I, I want to sit down and watch this. You know what I'm saying? So when, when people talk right. about that, oh man, I used to watch wrestling. That's when wrestling is the hottest thing on television. And that's the thing. In order to, to be the hottest thing on television, you you have you got to have your Mike Tyson come in. You yeah. got to have your you back there your Pamela Anderson come in and you. Mm-hmm. They had fucking they had Linda Tripp and all like all these all these things all these things that were on the on on the uh, bleeding edge of pop culture. Right. They had on WWF television back yeah. then. Yeah. That's what and AEW is w- doing right now. WCW too. I mean, there was WCW. There was a, yeah, yeah. Fool Bill Goldberg was on the cover of TV Guide. Yep, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Right, now right. Kids, now, kids, y'all probably don't even know what the fuck that is. Now, remember when we talked about their preview channel? TV Guide is the paper version of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you got to thumb through all the articles, all yeah, the articles all the you ain't want to read. Flip through to the middle of the damn TV Guide. Wait a minute, talk. Isn't it crazy that a week's worth of a TV schedule was in a goddamn book? <laughs> right. <laughs> <to> go <laughs> right. But yeah, it's just like, and things didn't get preempted uh, like right. so much, like it do do like it do right now that you could like could you could reliably you imagine, look at that shit. Could you imagine if TV guy had all that shit printed out when Rona hit, and they was like, "Oh shit, we got to change all this shit." Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> ain't, ain't no football coming on. Oh, we all fucked up. <laughs> Open it up. So, like, you know, when uh, the channel wasn't showing nothing, it'll just be TBD. It'll just be all TBD. <laughs> it probably would have just went off. Probably would have just... <laughs> <laughs> But speaking of Shaq, so Shaq was on AEW this past week. Yes, he was. In in, in a segment with uh, Brandy Rhodes. So we, yeah. we had talked about Brandy Rhodes, Jay Cargill, all that good stuff. And man, I just feel like I feel like we just gotta let this ride, man. I just gotta show this right quick, man. Oh, no. oh god! <laughs> I feel like I gotta show yeah, this. Right yeah, yeah, we, yeah, 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 yeah. Let it ride. Yeah, this was this was. We have something very special now for you here on Dynamite. I'm very happy to be sitting here once again with AEW's Chief Brand Officer Brandy Rhodes. Brandy, it's great to see you. Good to see you, Tony. And I'm also sitting with four-time NBA World Champion. 15-time NBA All-Star, one of the stars of Inside the NBA, a member of Papa John's board, and a man you see on Shaq Live here on TNT, the one and only Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq, it's great to see you. That's your You spent all that time putting all that butter on his toast, but you just had just the chief brand off. It's fine. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Shaq. Good to have you with us. I, I know there's something that you wanted to tell everyone here on TNT and the AEW roster as well. Yes, the other day I was watching the lovely Jade and her interaction with Cody. And right. Look, I'm a fan of Jade. Me and her go back a long way. <laughs> Love her, care about her. Want to see her do big things. Uh, I didn't. I didn't really appreciate what she did to your arm, though. <laughs> if I can say World I didn't really appreciate it either. World star. Um, it hurts. <laughs> but I didn't deserve that. She came into my house and came at my people and my family, and that's the reaction you're always going to get if you do that, no matter what. So you can break my arm. She does it again next time, I'm going to be in her face again. My hope is we can stop all this, and then nobody else has to get hurt. So is this something that maybe can be settled between you and, and Jade, possibly on, on Dynamite? That's something I would like to see. Oh, sorry to interrupt. I, I would love to see that. Something else I forgot to mention. I had a little thing I went at Cody on Twitter. Right. Just me being me, having fun. No disrespect to these wrestlers. They're the best athletes in the world. Love Cody, love his brother, love his father. Big fan. That's just me messing around. But you and Jay, I can't wait to see that one. I'll be there. 
All right, well, there you have it. Thanks for being with us. And uh, Brandy, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Yep. All right, very cool. Yeah, I'm sure they cleared that up. Thank you for being with us. And uh, Brandy, while your arm's in the sling, I think you should uh, watch Jade. You could probably get some pointers from her. (laughs) That's That's a joke, right? No, I'm serious. Oh, so you're just going to yeah. disrespect me like that again? It just is a pattern of behavior here. That I'm saying, you know what, Tony? I'm, I'm just... sick of this shit. You are an overgrown asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that nigga face. that whole video just to look at that nigga face. <laughs> that's, the, that's the only reason that's the only reason I played this video. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> a mixture of shocked and pissed off and, and mad and <laughs> oh shit. I that was the only reason I played that video. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't think Shaq, I don't think uh, Charles Barkley threw the water in his face. No, Char- <laughs> nah, nah, Charles, Charles Barkley pieced his ass up, though. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he, did. He, gave, he gave him that three piece. So <laughs> I have to ask this question. Yes, 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 yes. I have to ask this question. And IWC, I'm not going to like it. I don't get it. Ooh, uh oh. <laughs> Is Brandy Rose a bigger star than Cody right now? Oh, <gasps> oh. <laughs> Shit. Now, 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 I'm not the one to steer the shit. And that was a steer the shit question. And you know, <laughs> they're married. And that they're 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 one. So she's not gonna not, but hy- hypothetically speaking, here we're you know what you think? <laughs> hypothetically speaking. You know, if we if we only if we only speak because in hypothetical, right? We, 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 this was Shaq's first time in AEW, and the first time Shaq's in AEW, he's not interacting with. And, and kudos to Cody because he's putting his wife on. I mm-hmm. like that shit. That's mm-hmm. dope. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a power fucking move. I'm not I'm not saying this to criticize him. I'm just. What do you think? <laughs> you brother, brother, you made my exact point for me because. <laughs> Again, just like Sting walking on to 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 AEW ring, walking into the ring and telling Cody, "I ain't here to see you." Uh, <laughs> Shaq shows up at AEW. Now we talk about the whole crossover thing. We talk about get, yeah. trying to get eyes on the thing, and the first person they see next to Shaq is Brandy Rhodes. Yeah, not Cody Rhodes. No, oh. not Cody Rhodes. <laughs> Man, oh man, that 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 whole Cody Rhodes is the big star of the company stuff is looking mad funny in the light. Uh, I don't see it. I don't, like a fake twenty, not, dog. I don't see the water not, mark. Is it, is, it, it. is it bad that I'm probably never going to see it? Like, like he, you know what's fucked up? I'm gonna say this, and y'all motherfuckers might turn this goddamn podcast off to say, Uh-oh. you know what'll make Cody a bigger star? What's that? He needs to go back to WWE and beat a few people, then come back to AEW. Mm, <laughs> mm. So I like I like the way you phrased that because you said it might never happen. <laughs> that shit ain't that never shit gonna ain't happen. happen. <laughs> that shit ain't gonna happen, nigga. If Cody Rhodes goes back to WWE today, <laughs> tomorrow, or in the future, they will. Happen. They got that Stardust outfit, with <laughs> that, nigga. They got the face paint. They got the color contacts. They got the background with the Christmas lights in the background. The star that Christmas light. That motherfucker is ready. <laughs> they go as soon as he walk in the door. They gonna be like, here, here you go. Here you go. Here your Stardust costume. Here, here go your Stardust costume. Put that on. Put that on. <laughs> oh, hey man, I'm just giving y'all entertainment purposes. No, I, 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 I know it's a slow burn. I just throwing that out there. It's a slow burn. I know. The, it's Cody's gonna interact with Shaq, you know. Bitch, I'm just talking crazy shit. Pay me no yeah. attention. I told y'all I'm on fucking four hours of sleep. 
<laughs> well, speaking of the next big star that AEW is bringing in, maybe Cody will have better luck with this person, but uh, Big Snoop Dogg is about to make his AD- AEW debut on January yes, 6th. Yes, he is. And yes, sir. motherfucker is in trouble with WWE. Them oh, my God. 